good day, all of you. My name is Maria Kanjelska Kalper, and we are talking about Polish culture and Polish history. And it is not easy to access a lot of those materials because a lot of Polish cartel is just in Polish. But some of this was translated, but also we have great foreign researchers who uh, were able to write about uh, culture and Polish history in English. And we have a Carson Becker, a young Polish, a, like American researchers about Poland who, and Carson, you are in this uh, very interesting spot where you are reading a lot about Poland and a lot of Polish history in English. So you are in the perfect example of anyone who would like to access more of this knowledge and just get being interested in, in Polish history, but from the uh, eyes of someone who is an English speaker. Tell us, what is the list of books of uh, which you would recommend of anyone who is a, mm, uh, who read in English, who uh, is an English speaker, who would like to get to know more about uh, what's going on uh, here in Poland? Well, I'd, I'd have to say to, to start with the works of Norman Davies, um, his best known works about Poland are his two volumes of God's Playground, which concern the, the history of Poland from uh, roughly a thousand years ago until um, roughly, I think, 400 years ago. And then the second volume of that is from uh, about 400 years ago to roughly the present. That is an excellent way to get the essence of Polish history. And I, I can't recommend those two books enough. Uh, Norman Davies has also written more extensively about the Polish Bolshevik War of 1920, which is a probably one of the greatest uh, historical what ifs. What if the uh, Bolsheviks had captured Warsaw and had captured Poland? The world would have been a very different place than the one we, we now know. So I would recommend reading his book. Um, I believe it's White Eagle, Red Star is the title in English. That's a wonderful work as well. I have to say, I'm a, I'm a very uh, big fan of the writer Czesław Miłosz, who is obviously very well known here in Poland and the West, uh, thanks in part to his, his Nobel Prize. And his the fact that he spent also a lot of time in the U.S. Definitely. Uh, writing there and also being a um, lecturer to the students. Yes, at, uh, at Berkeley in California. He was, uh, he was a professor there. So I would say his book, The Captive Mind, which was written after World War II, and explores the way that Poland became enveloped by communism, by Stalinism. Uh, it's an excellent read, and it really explains, I think, to the Western reader um, how things transpired in Poland after the war, and what exactly happened to the to the minds of, of many of the people who were in desperation and maybe mistakenly um, accepted this, and only to find out that it was a actually a. A false path and a false exactly, a false path. Because a lot indeed. of people who are heroes during the World War II and who did amazing things then got themselves caught up with the ideologists of communism who didn't, didn't understand what actually was brought to Poland and the fact that this uh, occupation of Germans and was shifted to the occupations of Russians and communism, which ended and last, lasted until 1989, so it's a very recent history. Exactly. There's Sorry. another book by Miłosz called Native Realm, which is more of an autobiography about his upbringing in Vilno and his, uh, his subsequent life in which he, he witnessed so much Polish history. And the title, Polish title is Dolina Is, ah. very different one, but it shows also the fact that Poland didn't end right now on the eastern border as it ends right now, but it, it went much further, further to Vilna, and Tel Aviv, mm -hmm. and the, the, this, those parts are also Polish history. So even right now, when we look at the war in Ukraine and the threat of bombing Lviv, uh, that would mean losing uh, hundreds of Polish history as well. Certainly. Um, trying to think of another title that I'd recommend. Vladislav Spielmann's The Pianist, of course, is very famous in the West, but that's, that's a, a lovely memoir, especially the chapters um, which concern the uh, September bombing of Warsaw. I've actually used those extensively in some of my research. So uh, I've quoted Spielmann on the experience of being in the city in September of 1939 with the bombings. He, he very vividly illustrates the chaos of what was happening. 
So for me, just to wrap up this episode, and maybe I make a recommendation for you. Have you, have you ever read Shielding the Flame of Hanna Kral? I have not. This is the book uh, which tells the story of the actually ghetto uprising and the story of Marek Edelman, who was one of the leaders of Ghetto Uprising. It is translated to English, and uh, it is in the curriculum of the Polish high schools. And it is a very fun book, but very vividly say and picturize what happened during the uh, Ghetto Uprising from the perspective of one of the leaders. And a beautiful, beautiful words. This author still is alive. Hanna Kral lives in Warsaw, um, is a older lady, but um, uh, also a, a wonderful author. So to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture, you have here from the words of an American young researcher, Carson Becker, what is worth to read in English about Poland. And maybe all of you will get fascinating enough just to visit Warsaw and go through the streets of our city. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.